Welcome back. The folks at Discover Life in America will launch a community science program in January called Smokies Most Wanted. They're hoping visitors and tourists will help them collect data on the park by using an app. The organization counts species living in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. And here with more is Will Kuhn, the group's director of science and research. Thanks so much for coming on. We appreciate you being with us. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks okay, for having me. This is exciting. Yes, there's an app for that when it comes about collecting data in the Great Smoky Mountains. Yeah, so this is an app called iNaturalist that uh, you can use anywhere in the world, not just in the Smokies, but when you... Um, you download this free app and when you uh, take a photo of an animal or plant or other thing that you find in the Smokies and upload that as an observation in iNaturalist, uh, we, can, we scientists can use that to learn about where that species is found, when it's active, and lots of other things about it. Um, so we have a number of different species that you can look for, um, uh, but you can also just post anything that you find. Um, yeah. And you guys look forward to, to seeing all of the information, but is there a species in particular that you're most interested in? Yeah, so we have a list on our website, um, which is our quote unquote Smokies Most Wanted. Um, it's kind of a rolling list of things like, um, like peregrine falcons, morning cloak butterflies, and lots of other things. Um, I think it's 112 species right now, wow. but, um, but these are things that we need just more observations of. But, like I said, you can upload an observation of anything that you find, any kind of wildflower or anything else, and that all helps us. Last year, uh, park visitors helped us discover 77 species that had never been found in the Smokies before, which is just pretty amazing. Yeah, 77. That's so we're hoping that number is going to be even higher this year. Yeah, let's hope so. And really quickly, the name of the app one more time is iNaturalist, uh, like an iPhone, but a naturalist. And you can find out more about this at dlia.org and click on the Smokies Most Wanted banner. Awesome. Thanks for being with us. Great to see you. Thanks so much, Beth. Yep.